Hey guys, it's me. Um, you probably think I'm the weirdest person ever because I like to film my videos in the bathroom, but I just like the lighting and I like my shower curtain as my backdrop. So I'm going to film today my July favorites, and so I'm just going to get started. Um, it's this lip liner. You can't even see the label on it anymore, but I got it from Sally's, and it's called um, Boutique. Um, and it's like a natural color. I've been using this liner a lot lately um, Sometimes just alone just filling in my lips or now I've been getting into the habit of putting this gloss um, Amanda Insing was talking about it's from bite beauty and it's in the color Rambutan and it smells great, too um, I've been using this non-stop only for a week. I'm kind of late on it, but I still put in my July favorites next are lip balms and lip glosses. I think I've talked about this before, but this is the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear. You can get this at any drugstore. They're available for like under $4. Next is the Maybelline Baby Lips Gloss. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's really clear. It's called Pink Pizzazz. I have another one. I don't know what it's called. I think it's like a watermelon one, but these are very handy if you just need a little bit of moisture on the lips. You can get that at Target, Walgreens, wherever. Um, next, I actually have a backup of this and I talked about it before. This is Max Blankety and it's an amplified lipstick. Um, I'm almost done with this one, but I have a backup one of it and I wear this like almost every single day. If I'm not wearing that color, I'm probably going to be wearing Viva Glam 2 from MAC. And as you know, Viva Glam, all their money goes to uh, the MAC World AIDS Fund. So I like that one. And that one I believe is it a satin? Yeah, it's a satin. Next is a mascara. I actually used to like this a lot, then I stopped using it and now I'm back to it. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. And I didn't um, hear about it until uh, Melissa Autry on YouTube was talking about it. But I found this the first time at Walgreens and now it's, um, not Walgreens, Walmart. Um, but now it's everywhere. You can get it at any drugstore. This is not a makeup product, but I've been wearing these a lot. These are um, just some earrings I got from probably like, I want to say Icing or Claire's. I actually got these over a year ago, and I barely wore them, and then I was digging through all my accessories, and I was like, I haven't worn these forever, so I've been wearing these a lot. Probably Icing, I think I got them at. Um, next is a concealer, and this is the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay in the color Medium Light Neutral. Um, I just got this one because I felt like it would be okay for me, but I have noticed if I don't blend really well or set it, it does crease under my eyes, but I do like the coverage. I do like that it kind of brightens up my under eye area as well. Next, everybody's been talking about it in their favorites. It's okay because I love it too. It's the Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. I'm trying to see if I can open it. I should have opened it before I started filming, but eh, there we go. Popped it open. This is what it looks like. And it's good on all skin tones, I swear. Even on um, deep skin tones as well. It's a really pretty peachy gold color. Next, this foundation, I'm not sure if I want to re-buy or repurchase, but this is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS. And as you guys can see, I'm like getting down to the very end of the bottle. I've been like trying to shake it up. I actually want to use this up and probably either stick to the Neutrogena Healthy Skin. I'm not sure, but I like that one too. And that one's more affordable. This one is nice though. I, I did like the coverage on this one. Next is some facial cleansers, and I talked about this when I got a haul of Ulta. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. I use this first to take off my makeup, and then afterward I go in with the Ultra Gentle Hydrating Cleanser with the Creamy Formula after I use the oil to take any excess makeup dirt oil off. Um, next is a fragrance, and it is the Aqua de Joie from um, Giorgio Armani and as I said I like roller balls more than I like the full size because sometimes I just don't finish full sizes so next is this sample that I got when me and Sam went to the Birchbox event with Tati Glam Life Guru in San Francisco and it's called not a perfume and I barely have anything left but I researched this and this thing is a hundred dollars online at Sephora and I'm like no so, um, this is kind of a love and hate at the same time. This is the Maybelline Blushed Nudes. Um, I think I've talked about this before or on Snapchat, but um, the bottom row I feel like is way more creamier and way more pigmented compared to the top. The top, some of the colors are okay, but um, 
it's all right. Like this is an everyday where I actually work wear for my new job, so I would recommend it if you're just starting off or you don't like too much color, then kind of play with that. Next is another lip thing. I have a lot of lip stuff, I noticed. This Christian Dior lip gloss in the color Swan 263, and it smells amazing. Like, every time I put it on, oh, it smells so good. It reminds me, sorry, I'm here, I like all my girl. It reminds me of like a clean smell, but it has a little bit of a baby powder scent to it, if it makes sense. I don't know. Um, but yes, this puppy was expensive, but I really wanted it. I swatched it in the store weeks ago. I had to get it. Next is this big old tub of the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. Um, I already talked about this before, but I love this stuff. It does smell a little funky right after you clean it, but then when it kind of sets and like cleans the brushes and they're dry, they smell like vanilla. So I got the big size because I'm tired of using the smaller one and like reordering it more often. And I really like brown eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Infallible and Espresso 173. Um, I'm wearing this more because of my job. I have to be a little bit more natural looking. And then last but not least, if I could open this, I'm like having a hard time here, is this, um, the, the Lorac, I was supposed to say the MAC, the Lorac uh, Pro Palette, the Mega. Um, I got this during Christmas time. It was around Christmas or like November or something where they released this online. And I've actually been dipping into it a lot more for my new job because it has a lot more natural neutral colors in here. Um, there is one more thing I was supposed to talk about. Oh, the Bioderma. So the Bioderma, I've been using this every single day, every time I wear makeup. Um, I ordered this online at beautylish.com. I'm thinking of getting the big size for like 19 bucks. So this stuff really works. I do have sensitive skin. It doesn't dry me out. Takes my makeup right off with no problem. So yeah, you guys, thank you for watching my July favorites. Um, hopefully this video will be up as soon as possible. I've been barely touching my um, YouTube channel. Um, I want to apologize for that because I have a new job. I'm working at a bank now and I have something steady Monday through Friday, occasional Saturdays, but I'm just really happy and um, couldn't be more excited for this new career. So thanks guys for watching. Like, subscribe, leave some comments down below. I'll see you later. Toodles!